Hello, preschool. Today we are going to read Bugs Are Insects. This book is a longer book, so some of the pages I will be skimming through. This is one way your adults can also read books to you that are a bit longer. Bugs are insects. How many ladybugs do you see? One, two. There are many kinds of insects living all around us. Ants are insects, so are crickets and mosquitoes. So are butterflies and bees. Insects come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. They don't all look alike, but there's a way to tell if something is an insect. Count its legs. Count how many parts make up its body. Is a ladybug an insect? All insects have external skeletons. You have a hard skeleton inside with parts that move. Your skeleton holds you up and helps give your body its shape. But an insect has a hard skeleton on the outside with parts that move. The skeleton is like a shell around its body. It holds the insect up and gives its body its shape. A ladybug has an external skeleton. Does that mean it's an insect? What do you think? Maybe not. All insects have external skeletons, but not all animals have external skeletons are insects. These are not insects. I wonder about a ladybug though. Hmm. Many insects have two pairs of wings and a pair of antenna. Sometimes the antenna are long and sometimes they are short. But all insect bodies are divided into three parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. There are six legs attached to the thorax. Anything that has six legs and three body parts is an insect. A ladybug has six legs and three body parts. Is it an insect? What do you think? Now look at a spider. Is it an insect? It has an external skeleton, but count its legs. How many does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A spider has eight legs, not six. Now count how many body parts it has. One, two. So it is not an insect. Insects have three, remember. Now we know that a ladybug is an insect. But is it really a bug? A ladybug isn't a bug at all. It is a beetle. Beetles are insects with a pair of hard wings you can't see through that hides a second pair of clear wings. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of mouths to suck, pierce, bite, or chew. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of legs as well. 
Crickets have long back legs for jumping. Water boatmen have wide flat legs for paddling. Bees have fuzzy legs that can carry pollen from flower to flower. Grasshoppers have legs for making music. Some insects are good builders. Ants build tunnels. Bees build honeycombs of wax that comes from their bodies. Wasps build paper nests. These insects live in large communities where each helps the other. No matter what they look like or how they live, all insects have six legs and three body parts. Here are some of the creatures you might find in your backyard. Are they insects? Can you count their legs and their body parts? Remember, they need six legs and three body parts to be an insect. Insects are all around flying through the air, chewing on leaves, creeping through grass. Scientists think that there are more kinds of insects than there are kinds of fish or birds or any other animal in the world. Look in your own backyard and see how many insects you can find. And always remember to count their legs. Thank you for listening to our book, Bugs are insects.